That is County 4. The Undisputed Championship of the World. What's going on, all man? Thanks for tuning in once again. Chase Channel. Um, grab a drink, man. Grab a coffee or something. You know, um, I'm, I'm going to be talking for a while. A few things to, um, to talk about. Obviously, man, if you're new, hit the red button. If you're a regular, thanks for your time, man. Always appreciate your time. And um, I'm going to get straight into it, man. Now, a lot of people thought that um, this fight wasn't going to happen. As in, um, Cambosa wasn't going to sh- sign the deal, you know. Um, why, I don't know, you know. Obviously, Cambosa said a few things, you know, saying that, you know, I, I want to see if... His signature is on the actual paper, man, and, and things like that. Obviously, he's playing mind games here, guys. Cambrosis is a guy that he's playing mind games with Haney because he knows that Haney has all the skills. Now, Cambrosis is a guy that shook up the world by beating Lopez. I believe he was a 13-1 to underdog. You know, the odds against him was very high, you know, um... And he pulled it off um, comfortably, you know. Now, you all saw um, Lopez, Lopez's response saying that the fight was fixed and that Haney's going to win and, and things like that. I believe it's not it's not going to be like that at all. And the Haney, I'm sorry, the um, Cambosis-Lopez fight was nowhere near fixed. You know, Lopez got dominated. Lo- Lopez got taken over, you know. Lopez got knocked down in the first round, you know. That says it all right there. Um, now, Lopez is one of those guys that, you know, he was on top of the lightweight division. He beat, um, you know, Loma. Many people thought Loma would beat him. You know, he became... The youngest ever undisputed champion Lopez did, you know. Now, I know that people disagree with that and believe that, um, you know, Haney is, holds the strap, the WBC title, and th- this is why we're having the fight, you know. This is why the fight's going ahead, the, the Haney fight and Cambosis fight, you know, to, to put things aside and to straighten things out, you know, and to see who was the undisputed lightweight champion of the world. Um, so I'm looking forward to that, man, for sure. Now, I don't believe that um, Cambosis is the uh, A side to this, obviously, you know, he holds all the straps. But apparently, you know, he is the underdog of this fight. Now, I don't understand that at all. Um, you look at the opponents, um, you look at Haney's resume, you look at Camp. Cambosis' resume, you know, Cambosis, like I said, you know, took out the top dog in the division, which was Lopez, and um, Haney hasn't really fought anyone on that level, you know what I mean? Yes, Haney does look more skilled, yes, Haney looks like he has better, you know, technical abilities, especially on the back foot, you know, but Cambosis has a better resume, in my opinion, because of the Lopez win, you know, um, now Haney is... Um, comparing himself to Mayweather a lot, um, and um, saying that, you know, I was at the same amount of fights as him at his age. And I believe that he may be talking a bit too soon here, guys. You know, I mean, Haney's 23, okay? I understand he's a hungry fighter. I understand that he's a skillful fighter. You know, I believe he has a great chance of beating Cambosis, but... He hasn't fought anyone on his level. That's what I'm trying to say. You know, Haney um, looks great, but it's easy to look great against lower opposition. Now, the nearest, yep, yeah, okay, you could say, right, he's got good power and many people can call him a veteran and things like that, you know, because he has age, guys. You know, he's 36 years of age. So he fought Haney on the backside of his career. You know what I mean? Now, Linares did rock him a few times when Haney was coming forward. Now, I believe that Cambosis can do the same here if, if Haney comes forward. I believe if Haney stays on the back foot, then he has a great chance of winning. But that being said, 
he also has to give Cambosis a rematch um, if he does win. So I'm thinking that Cambosis will be taking risks here, you know. And he's sparred with the one of the greatest fighters of all time, Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao, you know, a guy that's won eight divisions, a guy that has, you know, put his name in, in the books of history. You know, um, Haney may, be, may say, you know, I had the same amount of fights as Mayweather and things like that, but in terms of history, um, you know, he's got a long way to go for making history. Haney, if he beats Cambosis, right, he's not going to be the youngest ever undisputed champion. If he beats Cambosis, Sure, he may be the man, you know, he may be the top dog of the division, but he's got to fight Cambosis again. He's got to fight Loma. Loma's the mandatory, you know, he's next in line. Tank Davis is there. You know, there's a lot of great fights that he has to win to even compare himself to Mayweather. You know what I'm saying? Mayweather, you know, and you've got to keep in mind that um, Haney started two years before Mayweather. Mayweather turned pro when he was 19. Haney turned pro when he was 17. You know what I mean? So, I mean, and, and not only that, they may have the same amount of fights, but Mayweather had the better fighters on the record. So, if Haney loses him, this may set him back, you know. He may have um, called out the wrong name at the wrong time here, guys, you know. I believe that Haney is going to challenge a ready Cambosis. I believe that Cambosis may win the fight. You know, Cambosis may win the fight. I wouldn't be surprised if he does at all. Remember, if Haney wins, there's a rematch. So Cambosis can take risks here. The thing is, um, Haney has a great jab. Um, he's he's really good on defense. He's a very skillful fighter. He picks a shot well, but when he's coming forward, he does get caught, and you saw that with Linares, you know. So I believe Haney's best move, best fight is on the back foot. Cambosis is a guy that can jump in and out of the pocket. You know, you saw that with the Lopez fight. Um, I mean, he's sparred 250-plus rounds with Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao, guys. You know, Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao... There's no one for jumping in and out of the pocket. You know, so I think that Cambosis is going to definitely take risks. I think that Haney may be forced to go on the front foot. You know, I don't think I don't think that him um, being on the back foot may, you know, win the crowd over here. You know, you gotta, you got to remember he's also fighting in Australia. So he's going into the fight two runs down to start with. I don't see a knockout happening. Um, I think that Cambosis has better timing than Haney um, in the exchange. Not, not you know, not when they're actually you know outside of the pocket. I'm talking about inside of the pocket and they're exchanging. Cambosis has better timing. I think that Haney's got better timing outside of the pocket. You know, obviously he's got that. Great jab, one of the best jabs, if not the best jab in the division. He's got, you know, he's got the reach advantage. He's got a good straight hand. Um, and the thing is, Campos, like I said, Campos can take risks in this fight. You know, he's got nothing to lose. He's got a rematch regardless. Haney needs to take risks. And he needs to be careful. You know, Haney's a guy that always keeps his guard down and uses movement, you know. And um, timing. Cambosis is a guy that he waits for the opportunity, and if it's there, he'll take it, you know. But I believe this time he will go for the opportunity because he has a rematch clause, you know. This isn't Lopez here, this is Haney, you know. It's, he's, it's not a guy that's going to be chasing him, it's a guy that's probably going to be jabbing and being on the back foot, you know what I'm saying? So I like the fight. Um, I think it's more of a 50 50 fight, to be honest, you know. I wouldn't be surprised at all. If Cambosis pulls it off, but, you know, Haney's got a great chance. He's obviously got to use the jab. He's got to take risks. 
because um, Cambosis definitely will, in my opinion. I think that Cambosis could possibly pull it off. Um, and I hope, you know, that it's going to be a even fight and a fair fight as in terms of whoever win, wins, wins, no robberies and things like that. You know, I hope it's a fair um, scored fight. I'm definitely going to watch it, you know. You're definitely going to see me um, break that fight down after the fight, you know what I mean? So, I mean, um, it's a great fight. I can't wait for it. Um, let's move on. You know, let's move on. Um, my prediction for that fight, before we move on, I'm picking um, Haney by points. But, wouldn't be surprised if Cambosis wins. If I was a betting man, I'd probably bet on Haney, but hey, I'm not a betting man. You make your own call. It's a good fight, though. And, um, you know, June the 4th, man, it's official. Now let's move on to Usyk AJ, right? Um, the fighting proud of the United Kingdom. Hey, the former unified heavyweight champion of the world, AJ. Anthony Joshua and the champion um, in the blue corner man weighing in at an even 236 pounds he is currently undefeated with the perfect one he is the undisputed cruiserweight champion of the world and currently the unified heavyweight champion of the world Alexander Usy Man, that fight, that fight I'm, pop, I'm all excited of, um, that fight I can't wait for, man, I can't wait for that fight. Hey, if you're still here, man, thanks for your time, for sure, that fight, um, you got to remember, you know, um, Usyk is actually um, going in this fight. Very emotional, you know, but not only emotional, he's going in there with a lot of anger, you know what I mean? He's going in there with a lot of pain, a lot of mixed feelings, and um, I believe this is a very hard task for Joshua. Now, I was backing Joshua, I thought that Joshua would pull it off, but now I'm not too sure, you know, I mean... He's fighting not just for himself, he's fighting for his country, he's fighting for his countrymen. You know, you've got the Klitschko brothers already prepared speeches for him. Just think about if Usyk pulls it off. Think about what's going to happen, what he's going to say. You know, think about all the people in the Ukraine that can't really say anything because they're under attack. Or you could say, you know, they in a World War Three. people are calling it, you know, it's... I don't really want to talk about that too much, you know, the, the um, what's going on in the Ukraine, but I am going to talk about the the um, this fight of how much of a, a epic fight it is, you know. It's it's one of those fights that generations on will know about because you know if you're talking about a World War Three, I know that I definitely wasn't wasn't around for World War Two or one, you know, and and um. People still talk about that now, you know, and the history behind it. You talk to your great great granddads and things like that, you know, that um, passed it on to their kids, and you know, it's a, a big history. And um, there's a lot on the line here, you know. Think about all the people that will be in the crowd if it's in the UK. I believe that it may be a mixed crowd here. I believe that there'll be a lot of Ukraine flags, a lot of politics, a lot of people flying over to see that fight, you know, just to see what happens and, um, you know, what's going to happen in the future for the Ukraine, you know, because Usyk is a very hard fight, yeah, you know, I believe this time he will go for the knockout based on his feelings, you know, I believe that he will go there explosive 
but hey, Joshua's, you know, Joshua's Joshua, you know, he's going to go in there, and I hope that he goes in there fearless, because he's going to be challenging a fearless Usyk, you know, a guy that's ready to unleash all his anger, you know, for sure, that's for sure, you know, I mean, if, if you don't watch this fight, man, um, this is not to, this is one not to miss, this is going to be a global fight, right, because everyone knows about what's happening in the Ukraine, in the world, you know what I mean, everyone knows, just think about how great the speech is going to be after the fight, think about how Usyk's going to feel singing that national anthem, or hearing the national anthem, I should say, you know, before he walks on out in the ring, think about the history, you know, um, and the invasion that he's feeling inside his heart of, of what's going on. You know what I mean? This is more than just a fight, guys. This is for his country. And it's a must win for Usyk. You know, it's a must win for Usyk. He's got a lot of pressure on him. Um, obviously, Joshua, you know, he can come back. Everyone, anyone will fight him. You know, he's got one of those names that... Because he's so, you know, um, well-known around the world and the public likes to see him and things like that, man. You know, he's advertised on a lot of things and, you know, and a lot of promotions and all that. Anyone will fight him in a heartbeat, you know, that's just how it is. But for Usyk, after this fight, he may have to go back to the Ukraine. No one knows what's going to happen after that, you know. what? No one knows when this thing's going to end for the Ukraine. So I did go in this fight um, back in AJ, but now I'm going for Usyk, you know. Now I'm going for Usyk just because I feel for him, you know, for his family. I feel for what he's going through. Um, and, you know, much respect to him. And, he's, you know, he's got a lot of pressure on him. Um, this is a fight not to miss, guys. You know, if you're not a boxing fan, I know there's a lot of people on my channel, or I would say, that tune into the channel that, that that's there for the music, man, but please watch this fight, guys. You know, it's a very historical fight. It's a very important fight. Um, it's, it's probably the biggest fight of the year. Even if we had a Spence versus Crawford, this fight is more meaningful to the world. You know what I mean? There's a lot of things that needs to be said from a lot of important people in the Ukraine. And I believe that, that um, you know, Usyk's going to say that after the fight. I believe it's going to be very emotional. I believe it's going to be a very viral fight. You know, I believe that this fight will take off in terms of one of the most viewed fights out there, you know, think about it, think about it, you know, think about what's going on, and this isn't just a boxing match, you know, this is more than that, you know, this is a a statement, you could say, that needs to be put out, so for that reason, I'm hoping that Usyk wins, you know, and um. You know, much love, man, to, to all the people in the Ukraine, and I hope that things, you know, um, get resolved over there, and um, it's a lot deeper than just a boxing match for me. Now, in terms of boxing, as in terms of an analysis, I think that Joshua needs to definitely throw that right-hand knee, you know, it's very effective, he definitely needs to push forward. You cannot box on the back foot if you're not as skilled as the other guy. You know, this is why Tyson Fury was pushing Deontay Wilder back. You know what I mean? Because he knew that he was a better boxer. But he knew that, you know, Deontay could, could close the show off for one shot. And he was lucky that Deontay didn't, didn't focus on shortening the right hand before the fight. You know, um, and he didn't have more training, you know, prior to him um, getting that many wins, so, um, you know, and that many knockouts, um, 
but hey, Fury did what he did. This is a different fight. Fury, obviously, you know, he's he is the most talented in the division. I don't. I mean, I know Usyk is great, is skilled, okay. And um, I apologize for going off par here, but I'm just saying, you know, Us um, Fury is a very talented boxer. Usyk is a very skilled boxer. Okay, to me, there's differences there, guys. I mean, to, to many people, you may disagree. Um, I think that Fury is one of those guys that raises to the occasion, where Usyk is a guy that gets the job done, regardless, you know. Um, but in terms of the AJ versus Usyk fight, man, I think that the fight's going to be... Um, a very, I would say, a very um, competitive fight, especially for the first six rounds. Now, if Joshua doesn't land on him, he's going to have problems, you know, going the distance. I think that Joshua really needs to hurt him early. If he can't hurt him early, he's just going to pick him apart easily. Um, you, you saw what happened with AJ against... Um, Klitschko. Now AJ knows that he needs to come forward. I believe that AJ knows knows this. You know, this is why he's getting other guys in. You know, he's learning from guys that link up to Emmanuel Short, you know what I mean? Um He knows that he needs to go forward. And if he if he fails to hurt Usyk within the first eight rounds, then Usyk's gonna win the fight. You know, for sure. Um, my take, I think that if Joshua doesn't get the knockout, Usyk wins. Um, and I believe that Usyk could possibly stop AJ just because of how he's feeling. I'm picking Usyk for the win, guys. You know, this is a Joshua fan here talking. And I'm picking um, Alexander Usyk to win. And I'm going for Alexander Usyk, you know, just based of based on what he's going through. Um, and his country. So yeah, man, I've been I've been you know um, talking for a while now, and um, if you if you listen to the whole thing, I appreciate it, man. I'm gonna finish this off. Um, thanks for your time once again, man. I appreciate your time as always. And um, and that's all I need to say, man. It is the aftermath. You know, the fight's on June the 4th. AJ versus Usyk. Must see. Must see. Okay. Please watch that fight, man. I believe it's going to be a historical fight. Especially after the fight, man. I, I think that Usyk will uh, burst down in tears and say a lot of things if he wins. If he wins, man. Joshua has a great chance for without a doubt. And, um... It's going to be competitive. It's going to be a great fight. Um, Cambrosis, don't write him off. A lot of people are. Do not write him off, people. You know, he, he has been in the better opposition. He has gone 250 rounds with Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao. Enough said. Drop your comment, man. Thanks for tuning in once again. Have a great day, man. Peace. God bless.